Hi, welcome back to Call Through Drones. Today we have the Sky Viper Spider-Man Homecoming drone. This is an official movie edition apparently, so it is a franchise item. Um, so let's put you get in the box. Throw the outer box away so you get a very nice presentation box with a spider on the front. Instruction sheet. I've already opened this as you can tell, the spare props are in there. Charging cable. The drone itself. The controller. And that's really it. Very heavy box for what you get in it. Let's just put this stuff down. So, this is the drone. The drone's quite a size, you can see, it's quite big in your hand. It's not a small drone at all. It comes with one LiPo and it is a 650 milliamp hour battery. It's good for about five minutes. It's an altitude hold drone. I'm just going to go over the controller, carry the battery back in. So there you go, the battery's back in. So as you can see, the props are underneath, so it sits like that and the props go the opposite way around. So if you look at the props, they look like they're on upside down, but obviously the right way around for what you're doing, because you've got to push upwards. The drone is quite well made. It's a bit gimmicky, obviously, because it's doing it to look like a spider, but it feels quite strong enough. The motors are in there, and it's got quite a bit of power. It has LED lights at the front. Let's turn it on. Welcome back, Spider-Man. We'll discuss that in a minute. Initiating drone connection. Stand by. So we'll connect it up. Spider drone is now operational. Okay. Mildly annoying transmitter. Really annoying transmitter. I can't find out how to turn the volume down. There might be some way. I might just not have read the instructions properly, but it's really loud. If you leave it on, it eats batteries like they're going out of fashion. So the controller itself, as you can see, is branded with Spider-Man. It's got like a web design on it. It runs on three batteries. Here's your speed mode. Amazing one. flight mode engaged. Your piloting skills are quite impressive. So as A you can hear. Protocol engaged. So you've got. Auto launch launch. initiated. Stand clear. <laughs> Activating auto land sequence. Please stand back. Then you've got auto manual. You kind of like altitude hold or not. Okay, so let me just go through the rest of the transmitter settings. Because I can't remember which button, because it's a little bit tired since I flew this. Which button does what? No, nope, that's about it. It's a very basic drone. There's no camera on here or anything. Doesn't bother me in the slightest, because as you've probably seen some reviews, I don't think they should put cameras on these drones if they're going to make them that bad. So there's no camera. So it's, it's a typical... I'm going to say micro, but it's actually quite a decent size. You can fly it outside, you can fly it indoors. I've recorded a small video to go at the end of it where you see me flying it outside. This thing is incredibly twitchy. Even on mode 1, it's so twitchy it's untrue. This is not a beginner's drone. If you're a beginner, you certainly won't get much fun out of this. Because it's all over the place. You can control it, with, but you have to be on the sticks constantly. It's altitude hold is quite good, it's the fact it just moves around and no matter what I do I can't get it to, to set up properly. It is quite good fun to fly and if you stick it in the third mode it, it's quite a bit of good fun but it's certainly not a beginner's drone. I paid £19.99 for this which is a saving grace about it all but I think it's £69 in places. I bought it from eBay for £19.99 and for £19.99 I guess it's not a bad drone. But the market they've aimed this after, in my opinion, isn't right because a kid's going to want to buy this, especially with the time with the PS4 game that's just come out. A kid, if you, this is not a kid's drone, not in my opinion, not, not for a starter's drone. Once you've got a bit of experience, it's absolutely fine. It, it, but it is quite vicious, you can hear it when it sets off, it doesn't half shift up into the air, and, it's, and a kid's not going to listen, listen to the words. Now I am holding it down which makes a bit of a difference. I like the and, and a kid's probably gonna love the controller the way it goes. The kid's probably gonna love the way that, that does that. And the, it's a very kid sized kid friendly controller and it actually feels quite nice. The stick feels quite good, doesn't it? But if you have twitchy it is. 
So do you see how twitchy that was? All I did was flick the stick over and it took off. I hadn't hit auto launch and I hadn't hit anything. The stick was in the centre. It's a way it does it on auto mode apparently. I, I'm not I'm not over impressed. Let's just show you again what it can do. So if you move your stick about auto land sequence. Play manual flight mode engaged. But it still does it even in manual. Now I have no idea why you'd want it to do that. Because it's not like I brought the sticks down and held them to to one side. So I don't recommend this. At nineteen ninety nine, if you've been flying a bit and you want a bit of fun, yeah, but would you want it? Um but for twenty quid I suppose it in the price range isn't that much about at twenty quid, you're into them very small micro the indoor stuff, so you can have a bit of fun with it. I had some fun playing with it, but I can't honestly come on here and recommend it. So thanks very much for watching, I'm going to leave you a quick minute of me flying it outside so you can see for yourself what it's like. I can fly and I was struggling with this thing to keep it in one place, it was a very very limited amount of wind. And the same play, the same day I flew the Potenzic drone that you've probably seen that I did and it was the same wind and that thing was so stable compared to this. So, once again, thanks everyone for watching, have a fantastic day and you've been watching Kolsky Drones. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.